vroom, 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 vroom. Hey yo bros, how are you? I hope that you guys are doing cartwheels and being on the top of the world. I hope that you are amazing man. Bros, bros. I just woke up and I'm about to do my morning ritual. Okay, I'm about to do my wrapping. Okay. Last night I was laying in bed on my mattress and I don't, my mattress bros, it doesn't have like a bed, a wooden oak wood bed stand. Okay, it's just a mattress, piece of fabric, flat on the carpet floor. Okay, on the brown carpet floor. Okay, it's beautiful. Okay, it's fine. It's like just one of those. You see that? And you put it on the floor. Okay. <laughs> So I was thinking, okay. sometimes people want to feel more alive, okay? You want to feel more alive, okay? What do you do to feel more alive, okay? There's a couple things you can do, bros. I'm going to mention two for you in this video, okay? The first one is you can pick up a fucking spear, okay? A fucking spear and go into the jungle with the palm trees and the green fucking <laughs> shrubs and everything and go in there and then chase down a jaguar, okay? A black jaguar. Jaguars are black, right? Well, pumas are black, the jaguars, I don't know what the fuck. Jaguars are like leopards kind of, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. What does matter is that you step out of your comfort zone. So that jaguar that's sitting on that rock looking at you, you there with your spear. Ooh, ooh, oh! <laughs> and it's looking at you. <laughs> so the jaguar is busy looking at you, bro. A jaguar can be a conversation with a person at a grocery store. It could be coming to the tiller with your carrots, your sausage, your Russian, your Viennas, your bread roll, your French bread roll, your um, what else is the shape of a penis? Okay, you put it on the shelf, the counter. And you have the conversation with the person, okay? That can be stepping out of your comfort zone. But the part that makes you feel alive, bros, is when it's related to a goal. So this conversation, let's say it's, it's a, a, a traffic cone, an orange traffic cone. Eight orange traffic cones between you, your Hummer V, your orange Hummer, and the other side, which will take you to the beach, which is where there's beautiful blue water and there's bays and bikinis, girls and bikinis, red bikinis, uh, yellow bikinis, and, and, and for some reason it smells like coffee over there. <laughs> you don't know why, it smells like coffee, it smells like popcorn, like in the cinemas, but you don't know why, okay? But you wanna go over there, right? Oh God. Now, this conversation are those cones in between, okay? So you feel more alive the moment you bah, bah, hadulkin, for those of you who have played Street Fighter, you kick the cones out of the way, out of the road. Tuk, 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 tuk. Okay, and you step into your orange hammer and you ride down that road towards the beach where there's red watermelon and luscious watermelons. Okay, and women that really want to give it to you. Okay. In fucking public, okay? Now, that's just a metaphor, okay? Of course, that happens in real life and all that stuff, but this is just a metaphor, okay? So, when you kick over those cones, if it's your first time kicking cones over in that particular area of your life, okay, you feel alive, you've grown, you've had a new experience as a man, okay? When I, bros, let me give you an example of, from my own life, okay? And this, this makes you feel alive, and it also increases your carefreeness and your confidence at the same time. But I'm going to say mostly your carefreeness, okay? So, that, that's like stepping out of your zone. Like when I told my girlfriend, yo, I love you, I'm going to marry you, I'm going to put the wedding ring on your finger and walk down the aisle with you in a beautiful black suit, and you're going to wear that nice white dress, and you're going to have that veil, and it's just going to be beautiful, you're my caramel angel and everything, and I love you, okay? But at the same time, because I'm going to be super famous, and all these girls are going to come to me, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to have fucking blue balls when we're fucking married, okay? 
No. Okay. I mean, you're hot. You have a big ass and everything. I didn't tell her how she's hot. I don't compliment girls, bros. I don't fucking compliment girls. Um, stop complimenting girls. Okay. If you like complimenting girls, stop it. Okay. Stop it. Compliment them on things like their clothes and things that you like, but not things that, that they didn't work for. Okay. Don't compliment them on things that they didn't work for. But if their makeup matches their dress, say, oh, I like the way that your makeup matches your dress. Like the, the lychee color over here that you got. I like the color over there. It's pretty cool. And say that for you. Okay. But that's another topic. Fuck that, bros. And let's focus on this beautiful epic thing right here. Okay. So, because I wanted to still be kissing girls, I'm not having sex because I'm keeping my virginity for her, for my, girl, for my girlfriend. My future wife, okay? So I'm keeping my virginity for her. She's keeping her virginity for me. And honestly, I don't care. I don't care, okay? So I don't care about things in general, okay? So anyway, I told her, yo, I want to be kissing other girls, okay? And I told her, you don't have to stay with me. You don't have to, st you don't have to stay with me. But then afterwards, she's like, no, I'll be with you no matter what. I love you. I'll be with you, okay? She texted this back. We're, we're, we're quite a distance, uh, geographically-wise. She stays up in Africa. I stay here at the sea point in Africa. She's also at a sea point, but a different one, okay? So, that was me stepping out of my zone, okay? Not that it was out of my comfort zone to do, but it was, it was movement, okay? And here's the second thing. Movement, okay, bros? If you stay in your house for too long, one place, you just stay in your lounge, you sleep in your lounge, you wake up in your lounge, you go to the bathroom, then you come back to your lounge, you wash hands or whatever, and then you eat a packet of chips or whatever, and you just watch movies on Netflix underneath a gray blanket, you do that for, say, a month, you're going to feel not fucking good. You're not going to feel good, okay? That's because, like Napoleon Hill said, I think it was Napoleon Hill, or Warren Buffett, it doesn't fucking matter. What matters is nature hates idleness in all forms, okay? Nature hates idleness in all forms. So if you're idling, like a bike on the side of the road, just there doing nothing, not riding, or not being ridden by a chick with a big ass, that's metaphorical, meaning doing something, being a man on his path, on his mission, on his journey, then what happens is you begin to experience something known as apertrophy, okay? There's hypertrophy and there's not atrophy. There's hypertrophy and there's atrophy, okay? So, like when you don't gym, what happens to your muscles? Right. When you do gym, what happens? Whoa, my goodness. Whoa, my goodness. It's beautiful, right? When you do gym, okay? And the same in life. So, an action step that you can do, bros, is taking a walk somewhere that's in line with your path, okay? Not just going there for the sake of walk. Yeah, that can help. But going there to accomplish a goal, okay? For example, I'm going to go out. I'm, I'm putting this action step into practice now. That's why I thought of sharing this with you, bros. Okay. I'm going to the library today, and I'm going to be there, practice my writing, and being in the change of environment, looking at different objects and including different things in my writing, okay? The books, the bookshelves, books, bookshelves, staff members, books, bookshelves, books, bookshelves, okay? <laughs> okay. So, so, so. <laughs> I love you, bros. You're gods, and I'm a god as well. You're a god, and I'm a god. Okay, um. So, that's about it, man. I'm about to get back to my business. Brrr.